Okay, what is going on, Chill Army? Deandrox7 here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Soothing Silver, the anime lock. The anime, well, the Pokemon challenge where, of course, we try to emulate the anime and how characters in the anime kind of had a harder time than we did in real life. So, of course, I'm not gonna really go over the rules. I'm just gonna show a little image here right now and uh, you guys can take a screenshot and, you know, look through it and stuff like that and see if you wanna like, you know, in case you guys wanna like do this challenge along with me or on your own gameplay or whatever. But anyway, last time we left off, we just took on the Azalea Town Gym and clashed with Bugsy and, Honestly, the fight wasn't really hard, but then again, if you chose Cyndaquil, you're pretty much you're pretty you're pretty much blitzing through the gym. So we got our second badge, and now we must journey on our way to Goldenrod City. But before we do that, we have to travel through the very annoying, one of my least favorite areas, honestly, the Ilex Forest. So Let's do a quick recap of our team and then we can continue our journey. So of course we have our partner Pokemon, Eruption the Cyndaquil. Next up we have Kanye the Fluffy, Seraphim the Shiny Togetic, Harvest the Bulbasaur, and lastly Mudvayne the Wooper. So, um, let me check our items real quick because... We may need to stock up on some. Let me see the medicine. Okay, we have 10 of those. Uh, I think we're good on... Yeah, I think... No, we need some Pokeballs. We need some Pokeballs, actually. And as you guys know, we can't use any Great Balls or anything. We have to only use... We have to only use Pokeballs in this game, although we can use the Apricorn Ball. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy. Yeah, I'm going to buy 10 of you. Yeah, I'm going to buy 10 of these and I'm going to get three more. Yeah, I'm going to get three more repels. And before we actually continue, let's go ahead and ooh, let me go ahead and get that. I forget which ones make net balls, to be honest. Okay, we got some fast balls. Yo, we should probably get a fast ball, Loki. All right, which one do I want to make? Um, hmm. I think black apricorns just make heavy balls. Um. You know, let's make some friend balls. Why not? I like friend balls. I like the design of them. All right. And now let's move on to Ilex Forest. But first we have an encounter with our rival. Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them. <laughs> Quit lying. Are you serious? Then let's see how strong you are. Dang, Andre. You don't believe me, bro? I'm DeAndre Hawk 7. I defeat every single villain that comes my way. All right, we get we got rival Andre, our second battle, starting off with the Ghastly. Eruption can make quick work of him. Eruption can make quick work of him. Let's go ahead and hit him with a good old flame wheel. Look at that, basically one shot, dude. Basically one shot, dude. Okay, gained to level 20. I actually went back and got an got an Everstone from Professor Elm by showing the Togepi. By showing uh by showing him my Togetic actually. So that way I don't have to That way I'm not always forgetting to, you know, click B when Cyndaquil's about to evolve. All right, he sent out Crocona. Let's go ahead and send out Kanye, of course. All 
All right, let's go ahead and hit him with a thunder shock. I thought that would do a little more, but it is a thunder shock. Thunder shock at this point in the game is kind of pathetic. Not gonna lie. What do we learn, Thunderbolt? Or any better electric move? Okay, Zubat's coming out. Okay, uh, this is a questionable choice, but I'm gonna send out Mudvayne. Uh-oh. Uh, let's go ahead and hit him with a water gun, honestly. Hopefully we don't flinch or hurt ourselves. Okay. It's always Mudvayne, isn't it? It's always Mudvayne, isn't it? All right, let's send out Harvest. Harvest should be able to, uh... Harvest should be able to do some work. Let's go ahead and hit him with a takedown. And we're confused again. Lovely. All right, hit him with another takedown. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Seraphim? You have extra sensory, so you should be able to just destroy Zubat, right? Oh, for the love of... Dude, please don't hurt yourself. Thank you. That was getting rather annoying. Alright. He has a new member on his team, actually, because he has four Pokemon. He usually has three Pokemon in Soul Silver. Oh, that's right. Andre gave him Charmander. Oh! I just. I don't know if this was in the last version, but you gave his Charmander Drought. Or you just gave Charmander in general Drought. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna switch out here, actually. Mudvayne can take care of you. Oh, wait. Since it's Mudvayne... Shoot, since it's since it's, um, the Drought, that means Water Gun isn't gonna do much, but that's why we have Mud Shot. I swear to God, if I miss... If I miss because of this, I'm gonna be so mad. Of course. I mean, luckily he's not really challenging. He's just kind of being annoying with the moves. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and not one-shot him. Okay, very tanky Charmander, apparently. <laughs> this is ridiculous. There's no... W okay, whatever. What are you calling a wimp, anyway? Hey, I'm not the guy who got swept. All right? I'm not the guy who got swept, Andre. I only won because his Pokemon were weak, apparently. I hate the weak. Pokemon, trainers, it doesn't matter who or what. I hate to see them hanging around. That goes for Team Rocket, too. They think they're so big and tough as long as they're in a group. But get them alone, and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. You won't be an exception if you get in my way. He thinks he's so tough. What do you want, Wade? What do you want? Man, I don't care about your berries, bro. Alright, I actually gotta heal my boys. They took quite a beating from that battle. Alright, I'm also gonna switch Kanye to the front. Because Eruption's kind of past the level cap again. But I think I'm going to put... I think I'm going to level my boys up to, like, level 20. That's only one... That's only one um, level above the gym lead, the next gym leader's ace. But if it gives us a slight advantage, I mean, might as well go for it, right? All right. 
I do want to get through this forest because there is a certain there is a certain move that I want to get from this location and you guys are gonna see why oh for the love of oh man my boss is going to be angry the farfetch that cut trees for charcoal took off in the forest. Can you help me? Farfetched have sensitive ears. If you step on a branch, they will face towards you. It's your that's your chance. Sneak up from behind and catch them? Sneak up from behind and catch them. Do you think you can do that? Ah, <sighs> one of my least favorite side quests in Pokemon. Okay, apparently you can find Pichu here. Okay. No, this is me. Yeah, this one's pretty easy. Wait, I think it's only one far-fetched, actually. Come on. Oh, that's it. That was it. Wow, you found a far-fetched. Thank you. But, oh, there is two. Okay, fine. You know what? I think I'm gonna put the... What's it called? <laughs> I think I'm gonna put the... Where is it? The rappel on, because I don't... I really don't want to sit through all of this. I really don't want to sit through all of this. So, let's go ahead and use a rappel, shall we? So where is this so far-fetched at? Oh, item. A revive. It's kind of useless. Well, outside of battle it's not, but in battle it's useless since we can't use healing items. Okay. Um, shoot. I forgot how to do this one. Okay. Trying to see how I can do this. Okay. I remember now. I remember now. You just have to get them on, uh, you just have to, like, chase them all the way to that, like, little corner of the tree. And then you can just catch them. Wow, you got both of them. Thank you so much. My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have any badges. Phew, you saved me. Oh boy, there's Big Papa. Ah, oh, my fa and that was actually their names. That was actually their names. So I made this one series called Pokemon gold and silver adventures it was a series that i made using powerpoint where it was basically like me basically <laughs> it was basically me you know going through the johto saga with my wacky voices because you know i aspired to be a voice actor one day and you know the episode i made an episode that focused on this whole side quest with far and fetched i didn't know that was their actual names <laughs> so i find that kind of funny it's canon. It's actually canon. Ah, my fawn fetched. You found them for us, kid? Without them, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? I know. Here, take this. Okay, we got the HM01, which is cut, of course. That's the HM. Cut. Teach that to a Pokemon to clear to, to, to <laughs> I can't read. Teach that to a Pokemon to clear small trees. But of course, you have to have the gym badge from Azalea to use it. Obviously. So, of course, we gotta teach one of our Pokemon cuts. Because HMs are in this game. Ugh, I forgot how much I don't miss HMs. Holy crap. Wait, did wait, did Andre boost the power of cut? Cause he I think it's like a it's usually like a base 40. 
but now it's a base 65, which isn't bad. And it's a steel type now. Ooh, that would be so good if I had like a scissor or something. Uh, okay. Who shall I teach it to? I mean, there's Harvest. Uh, I think I'm gonna teach it to Harvest because Harvest doesn't really have any moves besides Takedown for coverage. So, the question is, what do I teach you then? Hmm. No, Takedown's too good of a move. Um, Leech Seed? Leech Seed might be useless, I guess. Yeah, let's go ahead and teach you Cut for now. For now, of course. And then, we just cut through here. Oh yeah, let me also put on a potion. Yeah, I know this isn't the most, this is not the most exciting episode, but. Don't blame me, blame them for making this game. And of course this is, the, or not, not Andre, of course, but, but like blame them Blame them for not putting any, like, like, trainers in this area or anything like that. I didn't even know there was an X-Attack there. That was just instincts. <laughs> that was literally just instincts. Uh, how do I get over there? Oh, I see. Nope. Hey. Hey, look at this big man. Look at that. Hey, my man. What's going on? What am I doing? I'm shaking trees using headbutt. It's fun. You should try it with your Pokemon, too. Which Pokemon should I learn? I don't know what voice I was going for there. <laughs> um... Honestly, I'll teach it to harvest. I will teach it to harvest. We can forget takedown. How much power does Headbutt do? 70? I mean, takedown is the stronger move, but it does have the drawback of doing recoil damage. So might as well teach him Headbutt. All right. Now there's a reason I taught Harvest Headbutt. We're gonna go all the way back to Azalea Town. I'll see you there. All right, we're back in Azalea Town and what I wanna do is I wanna find a certain Pokemon in Azalea Town by headbutting the trees. So let's see if we can do it. Well, that took, <laughs> that took only two tries, but we have Heracross who is going to be the next member of my team. I thought long and hard about this, and I was thinking of saving myself to get the Scyther from the bug catching contest, but I think Heracross is just a better bug type for my team right now, especially due to um, Whitney. So yeah, I need something that can actually take on her mill tank. So that's where Heracross is gonna come in. So let's see if we can you know what, let's use our fastball. Let's use a fastball on you. Okay. <laughs> okay, here, horn attack isn't really gonna do much to me. All right, I don't wanna waste my apricorn balls. Ooh, no, I can't use a premier ball, I just realized. I literally just said I'm not allowed to use any other Pokemon, Pokeball besides the standard ones or the like unique apricorn ones. All right, we have 14 Pokeballs, so let's go ahead and, uh, you know. Let's just keep chucking Pokeballs at it until we can catch it. Okay. Heracross? 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 I'm gonna need you to get in this ball. Okay. Please... Static don't activate. Dang it! 
I was gonna put it to sleep. I was honestly gonna put it to sleep. Uh, shoot. This is very tricky, because I can't use a Great Ball to, like, up my chances. Heracross? Come on, Heracross. You're making this harder for yourself. You know that, right? Oh, my word. Okay. Heracross, if you join me, we can heal you. I'm just saying. Come on, Heracross. Oh! Dude, it's like, it, the ball shook once, and then it was like, screw you. Ugh. There's really nothing I can do either. There's really nothing I can do either. Ugh. Heracross, please. <laughs> I only have so many Pokeballs to use. Heracross, I swear to god. Okay. Heracross, please. Please, Heracross. Okay. Let's use a fast ball. Why did that work? Why did that even work? Okay. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I guess that worked. Alright, Heracross. The single horn Pokemon. A bug and fighting type. It is usually docile, but if it is disturbed by uh, while sipping honey, it chases off the intruder with its horn. And I have the perfect nickname for you. Your name. I think I think I picked an awesome name for Heracross. So you guys know how I'm going for musical references. Well, Heracross is a ri Japanese rhinoceros beetle, and. You know what else? You know who else is a beetle? Well, John Lennon. So, that's right, I am naming him Beetle. But like, like after the band, like the Beatles? Come on, y'all, you, you guys have to admit, that's, and besides, not only is he a beetle, he is a fighting beetle. So like he's beat, like beat as in beating people up? Come on, y'all, that's clever. You guys have to admit, that is a clever nickname for Beetle here. But now I must go heal. I must heal. I'm also gonna give Heracross the experience share so that way we don't have to play catch up with it too much. All right, we have six Pokemon on our, on our team. We are gonna box some members later on, but right now Heracross is gonna be a mainstay. I think Heracross is gonna be a mainstay for the rest of the series because Heracross actually helps a lot for some of these gyms. For some of the upcoming gems, I should say. Alright. Oh, shoot. Forgot about my repel. Should definitely put that on. So now our journey can actually continue, everyone. Which shouldn't be too long, because... The Alex Forest really isn't that long of a area... It's just really annoying to get through because of the wild encounter, so always be sure to have repels on. Oh, Kimono Girl. Kimono Girl, Kimono Girl. Lost and all alone. Poor girl lost. In the dark eyeless. Eyeless. In the dark eyelix forest. What? You remember me from Violet City? You must be imagining. Anyway, will you show me how to get out of this forest? You know what? Yes. You will? Aren't you lost in the forest as well? How do you know how to get out of here? Look at him trying to steal my spotlight. Wow! Are you going to show me how to get out? You are such a smart Pokemon. See ya. I'm not lost. How dare you accuse me of being lost? No, I don't want to headbutt this tree. I want to headbutt that lady. 
Who said that I was lost? You guys know I was. You guys know I wasn't lost, right? <sighs> Remember the pain of ha not having reusable repels, or of not having like the chance to reuse the repel outside of the bag, so you don't have to like keep continuously going through. Ooh, if only I had surf. You don't have to keep continuously like going to your bag. Because I remember. Alrighty. We are out of the Ilex Forest. So in the next episode, we'll be, you know, traveling through this area and probably a little bit of Goldenrod City. Or we might just spend the rest of the episode doing all of Goldenrod City. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. But yeah, this was a little, ep surprisingly, this recording took me 28 minutes. Holy crap. Don't know how I managed to make, oh, it's probably that hair cross fight that was prolonging it, to be honest. But anyway, next time we'll probably be, like I said, going through this route. Uh, we, also, we also have a surprise rival battle coming up, by the way, because Andre did add some extra rival battles and stuff like that. And, of course, maybe, maybe a little bit of exploring in uh, Goldenrod. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. So, see ya. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, share this video with a friend, and leave a nice little comment down below. Also, if you guys are feeling generous, feel free to subscribe. It's 100% free. If you guys want to stay connected with me, my Twitter and Instagram, along with my other social medias, are in the description down below. I love you all, and I will see you guys on the next video. Only good, show army.